If you're into tech, then chances are you've either experienced or heard of a thing called an NVMe M.2 drive. Though, do you actually need one of these drives? Today I'm going to be testing this M.2 versus an SSD versus a hard disk drive to see what's really going on. Welcome to Tech City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with some real world benchmarks, except one of them which is a synthetic, but going on with the contenders first. We've got here a 5400 RPM Western Digital hard drive. Now hard drives are still very popular to this date, so it's actually good to include one of these and see how worse it fares compared to the other two. That being said though, we have an SSD, which is a crucial MX300. And then we have an M.2 drive here, which actually uses the PCIe lanes to transfer data as opposed to the hard disk drive and solid state disk, which also transfer via a thing called SATA 3. So getting on into the first benchmark here, we have synthetic benchmark called ASSSD. We can see here that the NVMe drive did score a major victory over the other two. Though the SSD did hammer the hard drive and the hard drive just really couldn't complete this benchmark. It took me like an hour to do this benchmark on the hard disk drive and it's not really intended for hard disk drives, but anyway. Next benchmark we had here was the boot test, and the SSD in both the M.2 drive pulled well ahead of the hard disk drive, though the difference between the NVMe drive and the SSD was virtually little, with the M.2 actually getting edged out by the SSD, so the SSD was the fastest in this test, and that probably came from the PCIe M.2 having to utilize an extra layer of initialization there. The next benchmark we had here was booting up a game. We had Battlefield 1 and the NVMe and SSD again scored very similar. There was nothing between these two drives and also the hard disk drive coming well behind those other two. Moving on to the next benchmark, loading up a browser with five different tabs from a fresh boot. This was in Chrome and we can see here that the NVMe and SSD really scored in the same league and then the hard drive again falling a little bit behind. So then I decided to do some more intense benchmarks which I guess would favor people who are doing productivity. And when we look at the file transfers when within the drive itself, we see that the M.2 pulled ahead of the SSD and then the SSD pulled ahead of the hard disk drive. And the same goes when we decided to do the next benchmark which is Adobe Premiere Pro. And this had to do with loading files into a fresh project on Premiere Pro. And we can see here that the NVMe actually scored a victory here by a little bit compared to the SSD. And then the SSD and the NVMe both came well ahead of the hard disk drive. Though as you guys saw in the benchmarks, the hard drive was well behind the M.2 drive and the SSD. Though if you are on a budget, then a hard drive is still going to be a pretty good choice. Keep in mind as well, this was a 5400 RPM drive, which is actually quite a bit slower than a 7200 RPM drive. Also on that note, if you are a gamer, then you're not going to generally get extra FPS out of using an SSD versus a hard drive. Though if you are, then there might be something wrong with your computer. Though, if you can afford an SSD, then I highly recommend them. Even if it is a 32 gigabyte drive, they're going really cheap on Amazon as they'll make your OS boot a lot faster, make your browser and all your core files load up a lot quicker as opposed to a standard hard drive. So now it's time to answer that final question of who actually needs an NVMe drive? And as you saw on those benchmarks, the boot test and the game boot test, there really wasn't anything or any difference between the SSD and the M.2. That is, if you're a gamer, you're not really going to benefit from buying an NVMe drive, except for those extra synthetic speeds. The where that did come into play was when I did those file transfers and also that Premiere Pro boot and load in test with those files. So you can see in a productivity environment, when you actually really need those raw speeds, that's when the M.2 starts to become of good value. So there we have it. If you guys are gamers, then you're probably best off saving your money and just going with an SSD versus M.2 drive. Though if you are doing productivity work and you need something that's really fast and you need to save time, for example, you need a fast dump drive for Premiere Pro, then you may want to go with an NVMe drive. And of course, if you're on a budget, then nothing's going to beat the hard drive for raw data for the money. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below what setup are you running for data configuration at the moment. Would love to hear your comments as always, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. And the hard disk drive, which both use SATA 2, SATA 3.